I refit this last Tuesday as part of the Battlestar Galactica thing. And I'll be honest, I think I'm going to do a regular event now. I'm going to call it Refit Tuesdays. And every Tuesday, I'm just going to grab a ship, uh, whether it be mine or something off the dock. And I'm just going to completely refit it. Because usually when I refit a small ship, there's nothing left when you're finished. No wow. original blocks left. You just clean the whole thing. Yeah, like even the systems got gutted because it was like it needed sh needed wedges and it needed new systems. So basically, the only thing that's left is the original weapons computer. That's it. Other than that, every block replaced. But I had loads of fun making it. I still got to finish it off. The engines aren't quite right. They need to come back quite a little bit more. Since watching the show, I've realized the engines are too short. And then, of course, I have to adjust all the docks to accommodate it, because if you take this onto another server, these this guy doesn't even dock inside, you know? Like yeah, on, that's, on, that's the biggest trick I've found. Yeah. To make sure it works everywhere. Yeah, exactly. Like, because people will complain about that if you release it, and it's like... Well, the Battlestar, anyway. Because, look, if I dock on our server... Oh, God. That's not a docking beam. There we go. It's a death beam! There we go. Oh. And I'm docked. See? Beautiful. It fits. But the thing is, because of the curvy room, because of the curvy roof, you know, the wing, the wing tips, they stick out of the box a lot. You know, I'm like three mm -hmm. blocks over on the wing tips, and I'm a block over on the uh, roof as well. Right. Sorry, on the nose. Mm. <clears throat> I can just go... Whoosh! See, this is the one where I wanted to put cameras inside the wings, so you could get all these shots. It's like fucking, oh dear, when they turn. Bump. Pro! So yeah. The best thing about the uh, Vipers was they could fly. They, you know, they did that whole thing where they just fly sideways. <laughs> What's it called? RCS or something? Yep, that's the one. Yeah. It is, yeah. I mean, the thing is, we needed to make a small battle star, because otherwise the base star would have been stupid. And I want to have a couple of them in the scene. And that that's not going to happen if you have, you know, everything fully one-to-one. -one. I, think I think we're working on, like, one-to-four or one-to-three. But you know what? It just the feels right size. That's what's really important. Yeah, you're right. And you know, well, Star Wars did get it wrong as far as the, the physics, but you know what? It, it's kind of like the sound and it's space it was, it was Cinematography comes first. It's because it was World War II, but got guy. Uh, it, it was World War II in space. Just just look at all the scenes again. The, the, the Empire and Nazis and the rebels are like freedom and, you know, you know democracy. Like, you can see it. It's like... 
It's the same thing. Ah, oh, we've got to go and do something crazy with against all odds when they've got the better equipment and, you know, all we've got is our grit. <laughs> but yeah, because people didn't want to see, oh, well, in space, we're going to have a nerd, you know, we're going to have a nerd boner about physics, you know, like most people sure. don't care. They just want to see stuff explode. And, and, and that was tried and tested, you know, all of those scenes, the way that they shoot planes flying in space and the way they would have, like, the wingmen talk to each other, the way that there would people would run from B-52, Millennium Falcon, hello. Like, everyone's running about the ship on the inside. And remember the gun scene with the little pods? That's, like, straight out of a World War Two film. You... Do you not, do you, did you not ever think that? It, it really is, isn't when it? When they fight at the TIE fight, when they shoot at the TIE fighters, it's almost like they're in uh, a B-52 shooting at Messerschmitts, whatever. <laughs> it's, it's, you know what, that's exactly what it is, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, to a T. It's literally Indiana Jones in space. Indiana Spones. <laughs> okay, that didn't work quite as well as I thought, but still. Space Indiana Jones. Space Jones from Indiana if you think about it right if you think about it maybe the whole point of Star Wars was it was never about Anakin and that's where he lost his way with episode 1 and 2 or 3 he should have made it about what happened to Han because <laughs> think about it right episode episode 4 you meet Han oh by the way guys that's not a glitch it's because I'm actually um that, that's solid, so I'm in the block. It's intended so that when you're inside the ship, you can see disconnected areas. So it's actually a tool for you, so you can see little little pockets of hollow space. It's really nice as well, because if you see here, you've got this lovely sort of 3D model view almost of the interior layout of this beast. You can see there's the ops room and the corridors. But anyway, yeah, Star Wars. <laughs> I've often, I've often thought, because think about it, who's the guy that comes in at the very end of the movie to save the day? And who's the guy that's all torn and, you know, he's led this way and that way and he's a, cr he's a criminal at the beginning and then he's uh, turned to the good at the end. He has a character development arc throughout and he interacts with more characters than anyone else either. Because the Jedi gets owned. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, the Obi-Wan Kenobi gets killed. Yeah, and Vader is the antagonist, so it's not about him. <laughs> Sorry. Like, they made it about him by retconning with one, two, and three. <laughs> Freaking retcon. <laughs> three films to retcon out the story of Han Solo. Because think about it. In the next episode, what happens to Han? He gets betrayed by his best friend and imprisoned in carbonite. Hashtag handmaid character. Yeah, the, the, I know, yeah, but but you know oh, what I mean. Like, oh. think about it. Who's who's the main character in that movie? Han Solo, again. And and then what about the last oh. movie? It all starts, <laughs> Don't do this. and then it all starts because Don't do this, Tom. Han Solo gets rescued from the Carbonite. Uh, Nothing happens until they get Han out of the Carbonite. They were just all just waiting. Nothing happens between... Oh, you're so right, it's disgusting. So I basically, you. Star Wars is Indiana Jones in space, but obviously the world wasn't ready. <laughs> the world wasn't ready. You can't yeah. handle the truth! We're gonna call him Han Jones. And that's why it was good, and that's why the first three are bad. No Han. <laughs> there was no Han. Think about it, there Where was no the Han Solo. <laughs> Oh, did you spot my logic? He spotted my top secret logic. <gasps> yeah, mate. I got some serious clocks. Do you know what? Now I've done that other stupid thing. Maybe it's time. Maybe it's time to clock it up. Well, um, no, actually. I've got something on my hit list. Every oh. single gate. All of them. All of them. I'm talking everything up to NX Nor. Oh God, that's ah, that's right. You mentioned that earlier. Mm. You've made 
you've made all the gates. I've made all the gates. I just need to make sure they actually still work because that was in a different build. I was messing about it. You know how it is when the server's down. Right. Yeah. Let's get yeah. out of this. Okay. I'm going to do that. Give items. I love this command. Give. 